My name is Jason Henderson, Vice President for Extension and Outreach. My name is Wendy Winterstein, and I serve as president at Iowa State University. The history of 4-H of starting, it's uh, really been focused on agriculture, and teaching the skills and the next generation of farmers, but it's also teaching about family issues. And land-grant universities at that point in time, their goal was to reach everyone within the United States. Um, and that means reaching rural communities that were agricultural based and focused on families. 4-H helps youth build so many different skills. They learn about collaboration. They learn about civic engagement. They learn about what it is going to mean for them to be a community leader when they grow up. We ask our youth to talk about their projects, to communicate with others, but more importantly, to receive feedback and to make improvements on what they can do going forward. We ask them to communicate, work in teams. It's the opportunity for youth to come together, to have these educational programs, to be able to demonstrate what they've learned at a county fair, at the state fair. 4-H builds leaders. When you go across the country, um, across the state, and within our communities, a lot of times you can tell who the 4-H'ers are and the type of leadership skills that they have and how they're able to pull together people to make decisions, to evaluate the positives and the negatives of any decision that they have to do, but they also have, have a focus on building community. The history of the connection between the 4-H Foundation and Iowa State University really is special. We think about President Friley and Dean Kildee together setting up what I'd call almost the charter for the 4-H Foundation right here in Beardshear Hall, saying that this was an important aspect of how 4-H could continue to be strong in Iowa and being so supportive of this effort. And so I'm very pleased uh, as the president of Iowa State currently to recognize that long-term relationship with the 4-H Foundation. So as we think about, you know, 4-H and our programs and activities, um, all of these activities require resources in many different ways. And so some of it is through direct fee programming, but we also know that we have huge 4-H alumni, people in our communities that are wanting to invest in the program and sponsor the program and support it in many different ways. And that's the role of the 4-H Foundation. So we need volunteers at every level to support our youth and to allow 4-H programming to be successful. But we also need the treasures that uh, people provide to the 4-H Foundation. And so I'm always amazed when I read about the individuals that provide their treasure in gifts to the 4-H Foundation. And they do that because of their own experiences that they had in 4-H, but they also do it because they see what the impact is of the work of the 4-H Foundation. And so I'm so pleased when individuals give to the 4-H Foundation because they see the impact. They realize that the 4-H Foundation is making a difference for the future of Iowa.